I'm uh, Hyos Kim, H.S. Kim, from Seoul National University Hospital, Korea. I'd like to uh, do a briefing regarding the uh, result of host BR, bleeding risk, RCT, where we try to define the optimal duration of uh, DAPT, D-A-P-T, after PCI, according to the bleeding risk. Host BR RCT is the first stratified randomized clinical trial. We enrolled about 5,000 patients and first stratified them into high bleeding straighten versus low bleeding straighten based on the ARC HBR definition. In previous several clinical trials, uh, test uh, one month depth in patients who require short uh, depth period. They are called as HPR trial, but those trials did not use ARC HPR definition in enrollment. This is the first trial to enroll 100% uh, that is uh, defined by ARC definition. This uh, we checked three co-primary endpoints. Uh, that is, uh, analyze the hierarchical order. The first component of co-primary endpoint is NACE, net adverse cardiovascular event. Second component is MACE, M-A-C-C, major adverse cardio cerebral event. The third component is uh, Mark 235 bleeding, any actionable bleeding. Thus, uh, we checked the non inferiority of short depth to long depth for the first component, NACE, then MACE. In final component, we try to confirm the superiority of short depth to longer depth. That is our uh, uh, design of study and uh, our co-primary endpoint. Thus, uh, outcomes uh, of uh, uh, high bleeding risk stratum, the first component, NACE, uh, was higher in one month depth group than three month depth group. It did not meet non inferiority. The second component, was a one-year MACE. That was also a little bit higher after one month depth than three month depth. The third component, any actionable bleeding, was compatible between one month depth and three month depth. The primary endpoints in low BR stratum, the first component, one-year NACE, was uh, compatible between two groups, thus non-inferiority was met. Thus we move on the non-inferiority test for the second component, MACE. One-year MACE was also compatible between three-month versus 12-month depth. Thus non-inferiority was met regarding MACCE for one year. The third component, we proceed to superiority test. Three month depth was superior to 12 month depth in terms of any actionable bleeding. Thus, in conclusion, uh, in high bleeding risk stratum, three month depth did not meet non inferiority. Uh, one month depth did not meet non inferiority to three month depth. Uh, one month depth was actually inferior to three month in terms of NACE and MACE for one year, while there is no significant difference in terms of uh, actionable uh, any bleeding. For low BR stratum, three month depth was non inferior to 12 month depth in terms of NACE and MACE while it was superior to 12-month death in terms of any actionable bleeding. 
this overall three month depth would be the optimal default duration of depth after PCI in general, regardless of living risk, to meet the balance of thrombosis and bleeding. Current guidelines recommend one to three month depth for high BL and three to 12 month depth for low BL. Somebody can say, what's the difference in uh, one month versus three month depth? But I, I don't think uh, uh, it is a, a trivial issue because the host BR uh, RCT, the high BR stratum in this trial is really uh, brittle, vulnerable, very severe uh, risky uh, population. When you check, the uh, bleeding instance of high BL that was sixfold higher than low BL strain. Not only bleeding, but also thrombosis is very high. MACE rate is about fourfold higher in high BL stratum than low BL strain. In other words, high BL population is very tricky and vulnerable and very uh, subtle. Uh, uh, friable patients. Thus, I think one versus three month depth may matter. Luckily, we found optimal duration of depth for this uh, little population in this trial. I think three month depth would be the sweet spot uh, to meet balance of bleeding and thrombosis. When we shorten the duration of depth toward one month, uh, we may lose the uh, prevention of thrombotic event while we cannot get sufficient benefit by reducing major bleeding. If we extend the duration of depth toward the six month, we have to pay the tax of bleeding, increase of bleeding without any incremental benefit uh, from the protection against thrombosis, like massive depth trial. They compare one versus six months depth. The conclusion was six months depth did not protect thrombotic event anymore compared with one month depth and increased bleeding. Now, thus, I think uh, once again, three month depth would be the sweet spot of depth for PCI patients not only in high BR, but also in non-high BR, low BR population. Uh, the main uh, medication used in our clinical trial is clopidogrel, uh, because uh, this is performed in East Asian patients. Most physicians well acknowledge that a recent RCT of ACS and AMI enrolling East Asians demonstrate Clopidogrel depth was superior to ticagrel depth, leading to clopidogrel depth as a standard and most frequently used regimen, whereas ticagrel depth was recommended for ACS in the Western world by uh, guidelines. Thus, uh, uh, Western world physician may uh, cannot accept this message, but I think the optimal duration of three months of clopidogrel depth for East Asians may be applicable to the duration of ticagrel depth in Western people. This is a very important topic for the future research. Uh, this most uh, uh, physicians in the Western world have to do such kind of future research to find optimal duration of ticagrel depth for HPL patients for white or black people. Mm -hmm.